Welcome back, everyone, to another exciting episode of Final Fantasy. Uh, last time we started on the Earth Cave, uh, started making our way inside, uh, found a few things, uh, got a few treasures, but there are more levels to explore in this dungeon, so without further delay, let's get started. Now, we had made it this far before. Uh, already, so there's not much to say about this area. Uh, we're gonna go straight to the right. I had to sneeze, so I muted my mic. <laughs> okay. Uh, we fought ogres before, and I think we fought uh, green ogres before, or grogers, as I like to call them, because I know that I've I've made that hilarious joke in the past. Uh, so I know we fought these guys already. Not much to tell; they just hit hard. And at this point, they're not even hitting that hard. Take that, you groger. Oh, so... I've been working my entire life to not have to do manual labor. And today at work, that's exactly what they had me do. Manual labor all day long. Um, it's not my favorite. Like, why do I even bother, you know? All right, this is a very tricky area to get through, uh, particularly because of the bats. The bats are here, and uh, the baddies are kind of obnoxious, and honestly, just the color layout is not very good to look at. Uh, let's kill these giants as quickly as possible. Eek. We're gonna be hurting. We fought giants before, right? Right, guys? Nobody's answering me. I think we fought giants before. I think I showed you guys giants when I was showing you how how to level up. Uh, 240 hit points. Uh, between 38 and 76 points of damage when they hit. So, uh, I'm going to try to do it this way. They didn't kill him. Good grief. That should kill him though. I'm not gonna waste too much time with these guys. There you go. Every little bit helps. So yeah, I had to move these shelves. Uh, I mean, clear these shelves out. So this one guy's leaving. One of the guys at work is leaving, and his, um... Everything that he's been working on for the last however many years he's been there has to be inventoried. So, because it's... I work for the uh, university, so they want to inventory everything, which is fine. But a lot of the stuff on the shelves had obviously not been touched in a long time. So when I was moving things around, uh, I got a lot of dust kicked up. Uh, I have been sneezing ever since. Yeah, this, that didn't do much, but whatever. Alright, this bat's got to go. It's very tricky to get lost here, like I said earlier. Especially because... Um, I went the long way. I'm going the long way here. Well, it's fine. It's actually okay. I wanted to go the other way first.
great. Ugh. Uh, so freaking annoying. The werewolves are the um the ones we gotta get rid of as quickly as possible. Cause these are the only things that are really dangerous. Uh, the gray wolves, not so much. And really, they don't hit that hard. But if they're going to be poisoning us, uh, we're really going to have to get rid of them. I just really hope they don't poison multiple of us. We might have to flee. Can we? Can we get a turn? Thankfully, they're weak. Oh, he's already almost dead. So I'm actually gonna cause Nope, not that guy. Concentrate on this guy. Get you to kill him. Get you to kill him and... Now we're talking. Here we go. Here we go. I didn't think Ren would kill a guy in melee, so... Yeah, what are you gonna do? Really? So much for my, you know, first uh, front line. You know, this, this whole RPG system of front line by back line, you know, there's a reason you put your mages in the back. Allegedly, they don't get hit as often. I think there was a time where I said I wasn't going to complain about this anymore, but it's annoying. These guys shouldn't be getting attacked as often as they are. And it goes in phases. Sometimes Jean will take like eight attacks in a row. I think we're close to a level up. Uh, close-ish. No. Item, that's what I want. Pure. <laughs> Ridiculous. Okay. All right, Mr. Batty. You've got to go. All right, we're going in here. This is a safe treasure room. There shouldn't be any guardians in here. So we're going to go ahead and get the Coral Sword. Now the Coral Sword is not all that great. Um, if you've been using someone that uses swords, then maybe it's for you, other than Fighter. Because look at Fighter right now, we're doing 3961, right? Wait a second. Did I say 39 or 35? Wait a second. Yeah, 39, 61. Okay. I thought I... Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah we definitely want to keep the... Um, silver Sword equipped. As you can see, the Silver Sword has been the best weapon for Jean for a long time now. But the Coral Sword, if you were using like a Red Mage, or a secondary fighter, that would be the weapon for you. We got a cabin, which is delightful. And we got ourselves 330 gil, which is not really all that great. There's another treasure room, which I'm debating whether or not I want to get it, because it, uh, it has a total of uh, like 5,000 gil and then a wooden shield, but it's guarded by an earth elemental on the way in and on the way out. So I'm really debating whether or not I want to get it. Is it worth it? Not really. For 5,000 gil, what am I sitting at? 25,000, I'm not gonna get it. I'm actually not gonna go for it. Sorry guys. Usually I'm one of these guys, uh, the people that likes to show you everything. Uh, but in this case, I feel like that's not worth the trouble. You've got to be kidding me. If 
they go for one of my mages again. Uh, I'm actually going to save my magic. For now. Yep, there he goes. Going after my mages. You poke him with your little knife. That's revenge right there. Ren got some revenge. <sighs> so, if you wanted the treasure, you would go left here and then down, but uh, since we're skipping it. Mr. Batty? Thank you, sir. Uh, just a singular, singular bull. Get him. That's fu that's okay. All right, come on, Eric. Eric's like pew pew pew. I punch you to death. Okay. I would love a level up. Love a level up. That's a tongue twister that I did not intend. I would love a level up before we go down there because fourth floor, fourth level, that's where things get uh, a little more intense. Okay. I wish I could use a cabin or a tent in here. Okay, basement three is where things get gross. Let's do it. Okay, so that is our destination right up there. That's where we're headed. On the way up, however, uh, there are many treasure chests. Uh, so let's um, let's try to not get killed. This is number one. Okay, just a Groger. No big deal. There are some enemies on this floor that are just very, very bad. It's just a tent, but that's okay. All right, from here, we're gonna move uh, north. And if you see me hesitating, it's because I'm planning out my steps, because the least amount of steps means the least amount of encounters. Okay, come on. he put them to sleep I was gonna use fire on these guys too of course they went after freaking <sighs> no I can't waste a heal too I can't waste a heal too um No, I have to cure. I have to cure him. Come on, do the right thing. Oh! Do the right thing, mummies. <laughs> Get him in the hundreds. You wasteful idiot. You waste of space. Oh, good. Ren will go. Oh, my God! <sighs> These guys aren't tough. They're just...
Save it. Just save it. Just save it. Just save it. Oh, come on. You didn't kill him? They only have 80 HP, guys. <laughs> if we had this much trouble with mummies, we're gonna have a bad time. We're gonna have a real bad time. Did we level up? I think we might have. No, we didn't. We're like 100 points away. Yeah, okay. Sorry for the sniffling, guys. I really do apologize. I, Like I said, all the dust uh, has been kind of annoying. Uh, Alright, we're moving on. Oh, we got red bats now. Fire keys, you know what I'm saying? Alright, we're moving south right here at this intersection. And then south here. And we're going to approach this next treasure chest from the side. Oh no. So Ragnids obviously poison. We've talked about them before, but now we have the ooze. Oozes are... Um, just a tougher version of enemies we fought in the past. I'm trying to figure out how I want to kill these guys because I might, I might, I might use, I'm trying to think if I want to waste. like a fire too or something the oozes aren't what I'm worried about I'm not really worried about the oozes all that much I'm worried about the arachnids and their ability to poison So I want to dark everyone. Is that what I want to do? So maybe they don't hit me? I don't know. Will this work? Okay, good. Now, Arachnids only have like 60 health hit point, so. And at this point, we really shouldn't be worried about... Oh my god, they hit hard. Of course, Ren! No! more hard than I thought. Also known as harder. I thought that was going to kill him. I thought that was going to kill him. Why isn't he dying? Alright, everyone after the ooze. Man. <laughs> There we go. Well, that could have gone a lot worse, actually. That wasn't that bad. Only one guy got poisoned. Yay! Level 14, guys.
I don't think he, he went up that much. I don't think. I think what I'm gonna do, I mean, uh, obviously other than pure Ren, I'm strongly, strongly, strongly considering heading back to town and just getting everyone back up to peak capacity. Well, let's look at our stats first. Okay, yes! Freaking Gene is doing double attacks now. He's at 64 hit percent. So this is beautiful. I might actually stick around. He's at 23. Yeah. Yeah, I think I'll just stick around. I think we're fine. Alright. So we approach this one from the side, and we shouldn't have to fight the Earth Elemental. And we can just recover one of those heals that we just used. Alright. Okay. Next, we go back down. Add this away. So I have a question. So, I don't know if people here watching, if you guys watch Game of Thrones. I'm not going to spoil anything, so don't worry if you're not cut up. But I just have a question. So, oh yes, by the way, we're fighting wizards while we're here. Uh, we all know about wizards. Uh, we encountered them as... Um, Dang! <laughs> I thought I was gonna have to like remind everyone how difficult wizards can be, uh, but no. Okay, images. This is bad. Images are bad news bears. Images are, um, they paralyze, uh, they have a high evade, uh, so they hit really hard. <laughs> Basically everything bad that a thing can do, um, images can do. They have 86 hit points and uh, their evade is 45%. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna be hitting these guys with harm two. That is going to be our uh, our strategy with these guys. For now, I'm going to hold on to fire because we're going to need fire later on. Uh, but Bran, go ahead and hit him with a harm two. If we can go first, all right, we got one. That was a waste of a harm, too. I was ho kind of hoping, you know, uh, Ren would go. I mean, Bran would go first. <laughs> well, he's not dead, so we'll just whittle him down with everyone else. And that's that. Well, that wasn't as terrible as I had expected. But my question, so again, uh, people who watch Game of Thrones, whether or not you watch it, you know, whatever. I recently came across a person that said, you know, they didn't watch Game of Thrones, which is fine. You know, it's not for everyone. I get it. I don't even care if you watch it. 3,400 gil. Um, but the way they said no, because I asked, do you watch Game of Thrones? And it wasn't just like a no, I don't watch Game of Thrones. It was like a... A really weird, like, ew, no, I don't watch Game of Thrones. Like, I look down upon anyone who does. Game of Thrones is for losers. Just like really weird. I've never heard of anyone being so dismissive of something. It was really odd. Um, and it just seemed like they didn't watch just to say that they didn't watch. Oh, crud. 
<laughs> so specters and geists. Uh, I think we know about geists. 56 hit points, they paralyze. Specters, 52 hit points. Um, they don't paralyze, but, you know, considering that uh, we're getting paralyzed. Oh, I'm sorry. They do paralyze. They both paralyze. Specters and Geist, both paralyze. Never mind. They, they both paralyze. They both do a lot of damage, and they both paralyze. So there's really no good way of going around this. Uh, going about fighting these guys, we're actually gonna. This is what I was saving my fire two for. We're actually gonna hit them with fire two and with harm two. Please, Ren, go next. Please, Ren and Bran. Please, Ren and Bran, go next. Ren and Bran. So, right, my question was gonna be. For those of you who don't watch Game of Thrones, why don't you watch? A lot of times, you know, people are like, well, I don't have time to watch, or I'm not into that kind of, you know, fantasy show, I'm more in a sci-fi, or I just don't like that kind of thing, which is fine. All those things are fine. It's fine. I didn't think Harm 2 was going to do as much damage as it did, and I, I feel like I wasted the fire too. And even, even if you say something like, well, I don't watch it because... I don't like things that are popular. That's fine too. You know, if you want to be all um, hipster, it's fine. There's a lot of things I don't do because people like it. Uh, you know, like pop, just pop culture in, in general. For example, I have a, a deep dislike for pop culture. I think like following celebrity news and gossip is just an absolute waste of your time. I just don't. I don't get celebrity news and gossip uh, but that's just me uh, but whatever again it's you know it's not my place to tell you what what is okay and not not okay to watch but I'm just wondering why I, I can't figure out why those pe that person was so anti Game of Thrones up here uh, in this tr treasure room, there's a fire elemental guardi guarding like a thousand gil. I'm not gonna grab it. Um, move out of the way, bat. Um, not kidding. Uh, not the battle I wanted. I think between Ren and Brand, they might be able to take out one giant. I mean, one ogre. Uh, it's just it's just weird to me how intense of a hatred they had for the show. And I, I, just, I just have to wonder. And it didn't seem like, you know, because usually when people say I don't watch something, like I said earlier, they say it because, like, I'm not into that, I don't have time, uh, I'd rather spend my time doing something else. You know, like that. But when they were, ugh, Game of Thrones, ew. Ugh, I would never watch that show. I'm like, okay, okay then. You know, like, all right. Calm yourself. So anyway, just curious, if if you don't watch, why? Because I would say a lot of people watch, most people in fact, I would say most people watch. Uh, it's the only reason people get HBO. And when this show is over, uh, HBO subscription is going to go down, down, down. Okay people, here we go. This is it. This is the big one. We're about to have our fight. Uh, this is the vampire. Um, the vampire is uh, a jerk. Um, 156 hit points. Um, does between 76 and 152 uh, points of damage with each attack. He also paralyzes. So that's awesome. Uh, <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, this is why I was saving all my fire. Uh, we really want to hit him with as much fire as we can. Um, excuse me again. I'm gonna. Whew, sorry. <laughs> Let's do it. 
all living things were born to die. No one can defeat me, the vampire. It's very philosophical of him. If there's one thing I wish this game had different, is uh, different music for boss fights. That's my only regret. Ah. Uh... I'm just gonna hit him with a regular harm. Wow. <laughs> Ren's like, I'm tired of this, let's go home. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> I don't even know what to say. I, I genuinely... Okay, well, um, that's, that's that, so, uh, hey, look at that, we got our, we got ourselves a ruby, uh, all right, we're getting out of here, now, we could go further, uh, but the way f the way down is blocked. We can't go through right now, and I, I really don't want to waste resources walking up there showing you guys, hey, look, a door is locked, and then walking back down because we could get attacked by enemies. So we're actually going to leave. I don't think I have any magic that can get us out of here in a pinch. No, I wish I'm... Sometimes I wish I did things, like get that spell that transports you out of the dungeon. But either way... I can't believe Ren killed him in one hit. The vampire had no chance. <laughs> oh, we're screwed here. This is gonna hurt. This one's gonna hurt. So I tell you what, guys. I'm gonna cut it here, and I'll see you guys outside. Uh, if anything interesting happens, I'll let you guys know. Alright, guys. We made it back out of the... Earth dungeon without too much trouble. Um, we, I got into a couple of, of annoying encounters, but it wasn't terrible. Oh my god, now we're screwed. <laughs> Nothing in the cat in the freaking cave of Earth killed us, but. Uh, We'll, we'll die here. This this will be our end. Freaking kidding me. I should have immediately saved when I came in here. When I got out. I don't even care. Just, just, just kill them. Just kill them all. Use that firepower. Goodness. Okay, I'm going to save immediately. Yeah, I got into a couple encounters. Nothing too bad, as you can see. Nobody was actually killed or anything. Uh, cabin. And we're gonna save. Everyone's fully healed and save. And, um, this is actually gonna be the end of the episode. Uh, next time we're going to go ahead and, uh, continue the story. So, thanks for joining me, and I'll catch you guys next time.